What's going on guys and welcome back to the University of Texas at San Antonio Dynasty Mode series. A series that has really taken off thanks to you guys so thank you for supporting this series. I wanted you guys to be really behind this because I wanted to do some big things with this building project, not a rebuilding project. And so thank you guys for the support initially on this series. This is game two of season one so we still have a lot of work to do but I'm really glad you guys are as excited about this series as I am. So if you could please continue to support it by leaving a like on the video I would really appreciate it. But we're about to get into the game here. We're playing against New Mexico State. And so two of the weaker teams in the entire NCAA. But let's get into the action now. Eric Souza, our quarterback. Drill as he throws the ball. It's incomplete. And so now we have third down and seven. Souza fires it to Kenny Harrison. But short of the first down marker. Fourth and inches. We're not going to go for it. Punt the ball to New Mexico State now. And they're running option. And Tiger Powell is not going to go anywhere. Tackled well behind the line of scrimmage. Six yard loss. Now Trayvon Cowell hands it off to Powell. And he's going to go nowhere again. So now minus nine yards in the span of two plays. And Trayvon Cowell gives it to him again. This time wrapped up after about a gain of one. Very good defensive stand there for UTSA. Holding New Mexico State to negative eight yards total. So Souza now hands the ball off to our man. Evan Akacha, our running back. That's going to be a seven yard gain. And if you saw the first game in this series, then you saw Okacha have to leave the game at four different times, I believe it was. And so we we're hoping he can stay healthier because he's our starting running back. And now Moeller drops the pass. Our tight end dropped a couple in the first game. Then is going to get us the first down now. We're in New Mexico State territory. We want to get some points in this drive. Souza play action, and he's hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Looking for Cam Jones. And with that incompletion, we're now looking for the first down on third and six. Souza in the pocket and fires over the middle to Cam Jones who makes the catch for a first down to the 25 yard line we go now in field goal range and having a very good drive thus far. Second and 12 for Souza. Clean pocket going deep. Cam Jones on the right sideline. Could not make the catch and that's a drop and third down and 12 coming up now. Souza looking for his man Moeller and he makes the catch out of bounds in midair and so we do kick the field goal and it is up. And through, and so UTSA has their first lead of the season. 3 0 now over New Mexico State. And the Aggies trying to go down the field now with Trayvon Cowell hooking up with Austin Franklin for the first down. They're already towards midfield now, handing the ball off to Powell. He goes to the right side with the open field is. He's going to get a big first down there, close to 20 yards on the carry now, close to the 30-yard line. And it's second down and eight coming up. Cowell hands the ball off to Powell, but he is wrapped up quickly, and a loss of two will make it third down and 10 for the Aggies. Cowell out of the shotgun looking to throw for the first down and he finds Kamonte Bateman but he's going to be short of the first down by about four yards and they'll bring out the field goal unit. Kick is up but it is short and New Mexico State comes with no points on that drive. And now it is Roadrunner football out of the shotgun. Eric Souza finds Jeremiah Moeller over the middle, upended after the first down catch there. And that would take us to the end of the first quarter. We're now in the second. And Souza looking to throw, pressure getting to him, but open out of the backfield is Evan Okacha. A juke, a broken tackle, stiff arms another player from New Mexico State. Nice play by Evan Okacha. And now play action bootleg for Eric Souza finds Jeremiah Moeller, who fumbles the ball after making the catch. It's picked up by the Aggies, and Eric Souza perhaps just saved a touchdown and so Moeller last week we saw him try to catch a ball and literally try to throw it to another player mid catch and now he fumbles the ball and these are the types of growing pains you have to deal with with a one star team as young as UTSA is but I love this building project and I'm glad you guys enjoy it as well we do stop New Mexico State our defense playing very well right now against the run and Souza looking to get back on track now hitting our other tight end now that's David Morgan and on third and one, we want to give the ball to Evan Okacha. Off tackle, left side, good blocking by our receiver. And that's going to be a first down now past the 45-yard line. Continue to run the ball. Evan Okacha, room to run. He's getting some more lanes open this week against New Mexico State. After last week's big loss to the Minnesota Gophers. Second down and three. Soz is going to throw. And he's going to scramble out of the pocket. But then he is tackled and sacked for a one-yard loss. Now we have a man in motion. That's Okacha out of the backfield. Shotgun empty backfield. And Souza outside looking for Harrison. And it was incomplete. He would have been short of the first down anyway. And now Cowell out of his own end zone trying to find somebody open. He's going to throw it deep. One-on-one. -on -one, and it's knocked away. Looking for Bateman. And that one could have been a big play for the Aggies. Instead now running shotgun still out of their own end zone. And Powell's going to take the carry. And he's going to break a tackle now and get to the 20-yard line. And so no longer is... 
Colwell going to have to stand in his own end zone out of the shotgun. Then on first and 10, setting up a screen pass, but the pressure got to him too quickly, and we sack him. So Colwell a pass now on third and long. Needs 14 yards over the middle. Come on, dropped interception, but we'll take it. Our defense is playing phenomenal in the first half. And now the Roadrunners trying to get some more points before halftime. Going deep, Brandon Freeman with the catch. Big hookup from Eric Souza to Brandon Freeman inside the 10-yard line. Defense likes what they're seeing, making their job a little bit easier. And now second down and goal for Souza. He wants to go to the end zone. Touchdown, David Morgan in the back of the end zone. Pretty much wide open. Take another look here. And that gives the Roadrunners a 10-0 lead here at the half. We'll go to the second half now with the Roadrunners getting the football to open it up. Jeremiah Muller hang on to it this time off the play-action boot. He gets the first down about 15 yards on the catch. Give it to Evan Okacha now. Up the middle, room to run. Eight yards, nine yards on the play. Okacha up to 67 yards on the ground so far. And now we pitch it out to him. He's only an 83 speed running back, but he gets the first down. And that's going to get us into New Mexico State territory now. And so is a play action to Nate Shaw. Rolling to his right, has an open man underneath, but wants to go for it all, and it's picked off. That is Justin Smith, the safety, making a big play. We were looking for Brandon Freeman in the end zone. And that will give New Mexico State's offense the ball. Cole out of the backfield wanting to scramble, but we wrap him up and sack him for a loss of three. Second down and 13 now, still out of the shotgun, now wanting the screen pass. This time it's open for Powell. He's going to cut, make a broken tackle, and he's tackled at 25-yard line, but a flag on the play. We'll see what the referee has to say here. Holding on the offense, that will back him up and negate the play. They'll put him at second down and 20, and then they will lose four yards. Third down and 24, playing very soft coverage. Just let them go underneath if they want it, and that's what we let them do. But Austin Franklin almost gets away from our defense, and he's going to make it about 21 yards on that play but still fourth and short coming up and they punt the ball now and back deep is Kenny Harrison from his own 35 looking to make a solid return a broken tackle off the spin move room to run on the right side 40 45 to midfield now shoved out of bounds at the 49 yard line of New Mexico State pitch it out to Evan Okaja try to make the first man miss but he's not all that agile and not that fast in the first place so three yards on the run so is it a throw on second and seven looking to go deep and he had his man open that looked like David Morgan and he just overthrew him. Third and seven. Souza wanting to go deep again, and this time it's caught. That's Cam Jones, our number one receiver, making the catch over the top of the defensive back. Nice play, Cam. And that puts the Roadrunners now inside the red zone and handoff to Okacha, but he's tackled in the backfield for a loss of two on the play. And Okacha, for the first time this game, has been shaken up. Our junior running back, he's going to have to leave the field for a couple of plays. Nate Shaw's in the game now. Fake the handoff to him. Souza looking end zone. Going for Jeremiah Moeller. Touchdown, Roadrunners in the back of the end zone. And after being dominated by Minnesota in week one of the season, the Roadrunners have come out and are playing a phenomenal game. You can see his fan here. He's hopping bandwagons over to UTSA. He was switching jerseys. And now back to Okacha's injury. He has a dislocated finger, but we're not going to keep him in the game. We have a 17-point lead right now. And we're pretty comfortable in the game right now, but Bateman makes a catch from Cowell. He's going to get up past the 45-yard line as we're in the late stages of the third quarter. And Cowell now setting up screen pass right side. Tiger Powell makes a catch, and he is tackled by Steven Kerfez after seven yards. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong. Second down and three. Cowell to throw again, and has all the time to throw. And he's going to find Bateman again, who's been catching most of his passes. That's a first down to the UTSA 30-yard line. And now the last play of the third quarter. Cole over the middle, and... And Camonte Bateman making all the catches here for New Mexico State. They're going to the third quarter with a 17-point deficit, looking for a big comeback. But UTSA has showed up to play today, and they're one quarter away from their first victory on the season. So now they just have to hold on to this lead. Cole hands it off to Matthews on the jet sweep, and we're all over that. Lost of two on the play. They have not been able to run the ball on this defense. On second down, they go back to the pass underneath. A first down inside the five-yard line. They can get their first points of the game on this drive. And Trayvon Cole keeps it himself in the read option, and into the end zone he goes for the touchdown. New Mexico State finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. 7-17 Seven to 17 in favor of UTSA. Evan Okacha in the game, and big gain here is longest on the season. Evan Okacha into Aggie territory. 
And with that gain, Evan Okacha breaks the school record for most rushing yards in a game. Now with 107, this team is one year old. They played FCS last year. First year in the FBS, and now Cam Jones making the catch from Eric Souza. Pretty good offense, actually, in this game from UTSA. Okacha getting the ball again. Nice cut there, making the man miss. And he gets eight yards on the play, further increasing his single-game rushing record now for UTSA. Souza in the pocket, going to the end zone. Jeremiah Moeller with a touchdown catch. And Eric Souza. Souza has broken the school record now for passing touchdowns in a game with three. And Okacha is hurt again. Come on, man. So it's 24 to 7. Once again, back to his 17 point lead. And the Aggies had the ball out of the shotgun. Cole, he wants a screen pass again, but instead he gets sacked. That's when their offense, either a screen pass or throw it to Kamonte Bateman. They pump the ball to us now with 3 12 to go in the game. We're going to run the ball with Evan Okacha. And now we're going to throw the ball. Eric Souza back to pass. And it's intercepted by Darian Johnson. I was looking for Jeremiah Moeller again. And I probably shouldn't have thrown in that situation, but I thought I could get the first down. And instead, threw an interception. So another screen pass now. Tiger Powell get tackled for a loss of one by one of our defensive linemen. Third down and 11 now. What are they going to do this time? Once again, a screen pass, and they get sacked once again. So they punt the ball. Now we'll run the ball with Nate Shaw up the middle. Get about 12 yards in this carry. Nice power running. And now third and two. Hand the ball off to Nate Shaw once more. Going off tackle. Busting it outside. And going to the New Mexico State 40-yard line as we are 18 seconds away from victory. And then we hand the ball off to Terrence Wilburn, and he fumbles the ball on his first carry of the year, and it's caught in midair by a New Mexico State defender. He's going to take it to the house. The ball never even touched the ground but it's still going to be 24 to 14 and yes the UTSA Roadrunners are one and one on the season their first victory Jeremiah Moeller is your player of the game 67 yards catching and two touchdowns pretty good game from Eric Souza and Evan Okacha minus the two interceptions Okacha with a buck 19 on the ground two runs of over 20 yards and we had three drops on offense this week but good plays by our tight ends and actually the only passing touchdowns we have I believe are to our tight ends and the other side Trayvon Kowal did not do all that great but Kamonte Bateman he played very well they highlighted them all game and now we're going to transition into some recruiting from week two I asked you guys about this last video and you guys want to see recruiting so I'm going to show it to you now and let me know if you want to see the recruiting after the games or before the games in these videos. And so anyway, obviously you have a lot of work to do as far as recruiting goes. We only have one player on this team in the 80s. He's an 80 overall. And a lot of our players are actually in the 60s with pretty poor ratings across the board. And so we're doing what we can here with this recruiting. Trying to get some offensive linemen to help build an offense. And we got to get some defensive pieces as well. But our defense has played pretty well, especially last game. Uh, it wasn't that great against Minnesota, but we were really mismatched against them. Even a uh, poor team in the Big Ten we can't really match up with them on the field but the good news is our only senior starters are at right guard left end and punter so we can focus on some other positions during this recruiting period right now and we'll look here at this outside linebacker Sean Hunter 72 speed not very good like block shedding and whatnot but I'm still going for him our guy though this is the number one prospect I have Fred Arnold 81 speed 75 block shedding and he has very good coverage ratings although I don't scroll down here in the video I believe both his man and zone coverage ratings are in the mid 70s which are very good for a linebacker but because he is very interested in Colorado right now I wanted to get a backup plan in place so I'm looking at Dominic Carter right here and he's got B speed it's telling me and his coverage ratings are in the mid to high 60s not as good as Fred Arnold but we have to have a backup plan in place now looking at Mike Smith a corner over here he is actually from Minnesota looking to go to the Gophers but we want to steal him and get him on our team now and we do some work talking about Minnesota getting 415 recruiting points and here's one of the safeties I scouted 78 speed and pretty poor coverage coverage ratings that's telling me he's going to have so we dropped him off the recruiting board trying to free up some space here and just focus on a, a smaller sample size like I talked about in the first video and now here you can see I was looking at some more prospects I'm adding some running backs to my board some three stars I'm going to do some scouting and then try to see if I can get one to commit I'm looking at a bunch of them I only want one and so I was just having my options open there and I offered a scholarship to Sean Hunter and he did commit so that means we have two commits on the year a defensive end and an outside linebacker already and next up guys we play against the Texas Longhorns I created this custom schedule here and I added Texas to the schedule so we could play a ranked opponent and we'll see how this goes guys thank you for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time